Wow. Thanks. What's up, homies? Welcome to Sumeru. Killed that toucan. With the Sumeru 3.0 update, we have got a whole bunch of stuff. We got all of Sumeru here. All of it. I, I went and got all the teleport waypoints just so I could do the... Um, the quests easier and stuff so I don't have to be like walking through gray parts to find quests um and I don't know what the deal is with these spots here um I couldn't find any statues of seven or teleport waypoints in them so I don't I can't even go into this area uh it, like Paimon tells me to go back and all that with 3.0, we got these these new characters, Tainari, um, and Kole here. They're both. I, I re I'm really liking Tainari a lot. Uh, he's he's like a. They took the the cool parts about Ganyu and made them more fun. But took the boring parts about Ganyu and removed them. So he's fun. And then Cole is just a nice little four-star support DPS kind of character. Kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I've been running around with them. Fun little characters. I haven't gotten any Dendro goblets. But then again, I haven't really been farming for artifacts for them. Uh, I should probably do that. But I think today... I don't know who uses this book. Yeah, I haven't gotten any Andro goblets yet. Uh, but I have some okay artifacts put on Tainari and Kole. I, I got a uh, four piece of the Wanderer's Troop on Tainari. Cause you go and do the charge tags with him. Um. And my game just just crashed. Oh, we got the ten parties, which is awesome. So I can have all my different parties with all my different characters, right? Um, and that's pretty fun. It's actually a big W change. A lot of people have been wanting that. While. Hainari's rotations are actually really fun to do. You just swap to him and do your three charge attacks and use your burst if you got it. And it's actually really fun. Then Koli's just a nice, you just go throw your thing out. Yeah, the Dendro Resonance is the the increase elemental mastery, and you get even more elemental mastery if you do one of the random reactions. Just means more uh, those reaction damages, which is very nice. And then they did update the Hydra Resonance, which increases the max HP by 25% instead of that healing one, which is actually really really good. Because all these Hydra characters are scaling off of HP and all that nowadays. Ayato. Yeah, Ayato and Yellan. They both scale off HP. So yeah, just having two Hydra characters together, it brings some really good extra damage for them. 
which is a very a very good buff for them. Uh, the enemies they've put in put in this update have I, are all like actually like kind of just easy compared to the ones they have been adding, like like those um, rift wolves that put that that bleed on you or corrosion. I hate that. I hate. Then those specters that they put in the game. I hate those specters. Like yeah. the Kairagis. Oh man. They've added. In the Inazuma, they added a lot of hard enemies. In this update, these lions or tigers or whatever are pretty easy to kill. Those crocodiles, pretty easy to kill. The, the large boars, pretty easy to kill. And then all these little mushroom guys. Are pretty easy so far they 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 added a bunch of pretty easy enemies oh and the big rune guys are in the domain pretty regular rune enemies not like those rune enemies that they added in inazuma that were like annoying and hard in in this update there's supposed to be a, a giant tree that was kind of like the sacred sakura i don't know where that tree is i haven't found it yet I, I, I think I just have to keep going along with the Archon quest. I finished the first, like, chapter or whatever. Yeah, I haven't found that tree. I'm assuming it takes the, the Dendro... The Dendro sigils. Or whatever they're calling. Uh, just like the, the Sacred Sakura tree. But I haven't found it, so I don't know where it is. It might be in one of those blanked out areas that I haven't gone to yet. Yeah, these enemies are so much easier than Rift Towns and whatnot. Like, let's be real. All those enemies they added in Inazuma were just not it. These guys are easy. Oh, I took a look at Dendro Traveler. Dendro Traveler? Actually, it is looking like pro it could be the best traveler besides maybe Geo. Um, because this scaling is actually pretty good for level one. Uh, and this burst, how it works, seems like it could be a really good dendro support kind of thing. I feel like I feel like dendro traveler could be really good. It's like look at this damage. That's at level one. 400% and that goes up that, that's gonna hit hard that's gonna hit hard so I think dendro traveler might be I might try and go and level up these talents on my dendro traveler because I, I think she'll be really good or if you have the dude traveler he'll be really good <laughs> Oh yeah, and um, as usual, they uh, Genshi Pack tweeted about the the characters for the next update, like before this update came out. With uh, it was Candice, Sino, and Nilo. Candice looks awesome. They all look awesome, to be honest, but Candace... Whew, Candace is going to be my favorite one, I think. I know she's probably going to... I think she's a 4-star, but they're going to... It's going to be lit. And then we're... I would assume... We're going to get the desert area in 3.1 as well. Which, uh, you can go and see... If I teleport, like, here... You can go and see the really big, weird pyramid thing. Uh, it looks really cool. I have no clue what it is. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah, you can see it. It's all the way over there. Actually, it looks really cool. I have no clue what's going on there. And the desert area is going to look awesome, I think. I think this looks super cool. And it's not even, like, actually there yet. And I don't know why I'm talking about a place that's not here yet. Sumeria itself just looks freaking awesome. It's just absolutely beautiful. My favorite part has got to be the giant ruin enemy. Like, just look how big he is. It's just, it's just incredible. This looks so cool. 
And then these little wither regions are actually pretty, I'd say pretty fun, neat gameplay. You always go and get like a chest or a dendroculus from them. So they're always like rewarding and whatnot. I really like them. They also added the, the artifact strong boxes. I've never been a fan of the artifact strong boxes because I always need the more artifacts to level up my current good artifacts. So I've never really found a use for them. I can totally see people really liking them, but they're just not for me. I'd rather just go like farm more artifacts and get bad artifacts just to level my other artifacts into because I have so many good artifacts that have potential. Like before you could only get um like noblesse and gladiator and wanderer's troop and stuff like that but now you can go and get like some good ones like the, the peak of Vindavigir ones and some of these other domain ones here and such. I've just done, been doing a little bit of the Sumeru exploring, mainly doing the Archon quests and stuff. Because I, I tried exploring some of these places. I feel like some of them are like actually quest locked. Like a bunch of stuff is actually quest locked. And I feel like there's a lot of not very straightforward things that I... I'm too dumb to know how to do. Like I need them to point. I need them to point and tell me what to do exactly. But everything like looks really cool, for sure. Yeah, a lot. Like there's these these weird like totem things that it's like like those ones you like go and shoot. Like like the pyro ones you go and shoot with amber. Or maybe like the electro ones you go and use with Lisa or whatever, right? They, they kind of look like them, but they're like all broken up, and I don't know. How to fix them. Because they're broken. Yeah, Tenari's kind of lit. He's a really good single target, quick swap, DPS kind of thing. I don't think any single target DPS is better than Yoimiya, of course. Yoimiya is like ridiculous. He's definitely really cool. I only have him level 69. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep spending my resin on like their talents. Artifacts and stuff for, for Tainari and Kole. Oh, and then Dory. I forgot Dory's gonna come out. I don't feel like Dory's gonna be very good though. I feel like Dory's just gonna be kind of like a Kuki Shinobu. They'll have like a very niche role. But other than that, nobody's gonna use them. I feel like it's gonna. That's how it went with Kuki Shinobu. That's how it's gonna go with Dory, I think. Yeah, I don't really remember what Dory does. Uh, something about giving energy and... I don't know if she heals or not. But she's like a bit more of a support. Low numbers kind of thing. And I think it's so annoying that they're not releasing any more... There's, there's zero places to get rocks in Inazuma. And there's zero places to go and get rocks in Sumeru. Like, come on, just give us more rocks. I want more rocks. I don't want three. Like, Monsai has two. Liwei has at least one. Even though Liwei is the rock place. Like, Liwei is known for rock. And then Inazuma and Sumeru have zero rock places. Zero. Uh, that's kind of annoying. So I want more rocks. Was this lake here before? I don't remember this lake being here. But it's like kind of close to Leeway. I don't. Was this lake here? I don't remember. Oh, look at him, he's petting the duck. Oh, my bad, G. Oh, I. I finally caught up with. 
Devil is a Part Timer, Season Two. Man, it really s just sucks. Season One was so incredible, and it, it just is sad to see what they're doing with Season Two here. I'll probably just go and have to read the light novel or whatever. Whatever these mechanisms are, are actually pretty cool. Just go and get a pyro character. Let's bring out my my Yoi Mia. Oh wait, I never got that one. Are you serious? Okay, I guess I need to do that first. Hell yeah. Bro, where is this Sealy? Like, actually, I cannot find him. He said it was in this direction. There's the Sealy. Finally. But, yeah. Samira's here. Whole lot of new chests. Whole lot of Primo Gems. New quests. Have fun. See ya, homies.